I am excited to announce that I am officially offering my immigration services to the public. No matter if you are looking to obtain a tourist or a visa visa in Canada, work visa in Canada, or a K-1 visa in the U.S., I am the first one for the Hi it's me again, Rossi B, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, guys, as I'm going to discuss about Canada visa denial through your travel history. This is really very important, guys, even if you've been traveling to different countries, especially if you have traveled to um, one country uh, several times. Like me, I have traveled to Singapore twice. I have traveled to um, Malaysia twice. So this is really important on how to present your documents to the immigration for you to avoid to get denied based on your travel history. I have a client, she sent me a message that she get her visa denied through her um, travel history. She's been traveling to different countries and obtained a passport stamp, but still Asian government denied her visa through her travel history. She's been denied to a section 176B. The officer is not satisfied that you will leave Canada at the end of your intended stay based on your travel history. And then when I asked him how did she present her travel history, I understand why she get denied. When I traveled to Canada, I already traveling to different countries. I have traveled 13 countries. I have obtained different visas from different countries. I have traveled several times for a certain countries, like I traveled Singapore twice and I traveled Malaysia twice. So what makes my visa approved? Because I have lots of travel history. And other than that, I summarize all of my travel history. I put how many days that I've stayed in that certain period of time that I travel, who were my companion, and what are my purpose of travel. In this case, when you, you summarize your travel history, the officer can follow on how many days you you extend you stay in a certain country based on your purpose of travel so they will assess your documents that in your travel history you don't intend to overstay in a certain country that that's why it is important to summarize your travel history don't just scan your passport don't just scan your um your your passport stamp and send it to the government especially if you have lots of travel history i will give you an example guys and uh, i will give you an example why you get denied through a travel history even if you have um um, um good travel history before you apply to canada so this is my old passport i've been traveling to different countries so i obtained so this is your passport bio page. So when you get your passport stamp, when you get your passport stamp, it doesn't already have your photo. It's only just your a passport page and your passport stamp from the country that you traveled with. You doesn't need a visa. Like me, if you try, I'm a Philippine passport holder. So if I if I travel to um, Singapore, Malaysia, um, can Cambodia, Thailand, any neighboring countries. I will not need a visa. I will just need my passport and I just have a passport stamp if ever I travel to this country. So therefore, it doesn't show your identity. It's just your passport stamp. So I have her because I have traveled lots of countries. So this one is for for um, Japan. So I, I obtained a Japan visa. So it's okay because when I have a passport stamp in Japan, it is accompanied by a by a, a Japanese visa and even though I still put this in all of my summary of travel on how many days that I stayed in Japan there so that the officer will follow that I never had um, overstayed to any other countries that I have traveled based on the purpose of my travel and all of those countries and this is like I, I went to South Korea so I also obtained a visa in South Korea and I also have a passport stop but for all other countries, guys, this is for my um, Canada visa. For all of the other countries that I have traveled in my neighboring Asian countries, I don't have a, a, a visa because I don't need a visa, only a passport stamp. So for all of those countries that I travel that I don't have a visa, is I some of my um, boarding passes, I keep them. So I accompanied my passport stamp with my boarding pass. I also accompanied on the countries that I never keep my um, 
on the countries that I never keep my, my boarding pass, airplane boarding pass, I accompanied it with the photos. And why this is important, guys, that you have to accompany your, your travel history with evidences that you never overstayed. Like me, I, I stayed in, in, in Singapore. I traveled to Singapore twice in 2012 and in 2014. Uh, no, I, I went to Singapore in 2012 and then I go back again in 2013. So if you just show your passport stamp, it seems like you stayed for one year because there are lots of passport stamps already in your passport. So it is important that you have to summarize all of your travel history. Like I've traveled to um, Singapore. This is the day where I traveled. I stayed for, for one week and uh, I who is your companion. But all of the countries that I traveled, I traveled solo. So I just put solo in all of those countries. But I summarize and I put how many days I, st I stayed in each country and what is the purpose of my stay. That way the officer will, will assess your documents that on all of the countries that you have traveled, you never overstay you never stay in this country more than um more more than what is what is required to you to stay so don't just submit your passport stamp without accompanying another evidence because passport stamp doesn't give photos of you doesn't have your name on it the, the your passport pages doesn't have it anymore so it's 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 important that you will have to accompany it with other um, proof like um, boarding passes or your photos that you have in other countries. It is really important that you will present your documents properly. Don't just submit your documents without presenting it in a proper way. Don't give a, 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 the immigration officer a word. Make the information available for them right away. That's why um, I have lots of clients, guys, that um, get denied. They have a um, history of denial. I'm glad that I was able to help them to come to Canada when I, um, I arrange their documents. So I do visa services if you want to avail my um, visa services so that you can increase your chance of getting your visa approved i will put i will put the link of in the description box of all of the services that i have and if you have questions before you avail services and if you have clarifications you can send me an email i also have an upcoming seminar about um applying for um immigration canada's immigration um, tourist or visitor visa. I will explain each section of the immigration um, immigration requirements and what you should do in order for you to have a strong proof or a strong evidence on what kind of documentation that you should attach in each section. And also, if you join the seminar, you will also have a sample documents of, of how the, the document should be presented. You will also have a step-by-step -step process on how to apply your application online. So if you are willing to join with the sem with my upcoming seminar, I will put the link on the description box and in a comment section on where to join the seminar. The seminar is really is really very important, especially if you have doubt with your um with the with your um visa application viability. It will give you um. Um, insights on what documents that you should need and it's I will explain um, clearly at section of your visa application so if you are willing to join with the um, seminar I will put the link in the description box and I also put the link in the comment section but if you want um, full visa services well I have to arrange your documents I will book you a flight. I will make you a detailed itinerary. The only thing you will do is to fill up the application and send your um, application to Canada Immigration site. I, I have a full visa service. You can um, you can put. I will put also the link in the description box. So, so guys, I hope this video helped you in your visa and um, immigration application based on your travel history. Thank you guys. Hope this video will help you in your um, upcoming visa application and your um, journey to Canada. Thank you for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you get notified of my new videos. Thank you. See you again in my next video. Hi guys, this is Rossi B and I'm here to announce a great opportunity for my subscribers and listeners. 
I've been blessed in my life to obtain a travel over 13 countries and obtain visas. Some of these beautiful countries in South Korea, Canada, and Japan. I also obtained a work visa from Canada and have lived in the great Rocky Mountain country. Most recently, successfully obtained an expedited K-1 visa to the U.S. I was able to get married in a fairy tale wedding in a castle. I have done all of these things without the help of any immigration agencies or travel brokers. With the success of my YouTube channel, I have reached viewers all over the world and I have been working with clients from Germany, Africa, India, Philippines, Kenya, and the Middle East. I am excited to announce that I am officially offering my immigration services to the public. No matter if you are looking to obtain a tourist or a visa visa in Canada, work visa in Canada, or a K-1 visa in the U.S., I am the person for the job. I can offer assistance with document arranging, travel itineraries, or application submission. No job is too big or too small. You can book a 30-minute consultation by clicking the link below. In our private one-on-one -on -one coaching session, I will access the viability of your immigration case. Remember, at Crosser B Immigration Services, we strive to be open, honest, and fair. Some immigration cases may be very complex and have lots of moving parts. For the truly difficult immigration cases, I partner with a great company who is the industry leader in immigration services, the Filipino Visa. If I can't help you with your visa application, Filipino Visa can. You may be even be eligible for a free no-obligation consultation with one of the top-notch immigration specialists or immigration lawyer. You can contact them by clicking the link below. Don't wait to start your life-changing visa journey today with Recipe Immigration Services.